Good morning, Lieutenant. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Well, in honor of our new president, uh, as many of you know, I did a project for the Ballards a few years ago. And it was a typical, I know, I know, you guys have been wanting me to do a presentation with photos for years, and I'm here, and I got it, and there's no thing. So, I don't know. So I was told that you can kind of see this from back there. If you can't, feel free to come up here and crowd around. And can we turn the lights down? Is that better? Hey, you guys can. Those of you who don't have really good eyes can can walk up here. But anyway, the Ballard project is a typical project for me. Um, it's a residential room addition. It required um, structural engineering, energy engineering, uh, permits had to go through HOA, we had that entire phase, we had to uh, design it with the help of the Ballards, of course, uh, to their needs. Uh, some other similar designs had been done in their neighborhood, but they had a view to the, the one side that they wanted to capture and the other ones were flipped, so uh, the engineering was different for their project. Um, but again, it's a typical project that we would do, and once you get by the permitting phase and all of that, um, it's time to do construction and the first few photos um, show the first thing that I do uh, in a case where they had hardwood flooring in their house and they didn't want it destroyed. So the typical company I think John would uh, can maybe back me up on this would come in and, and roll down some rosin paper to protect the floor. Um, that's fine except when the guys drop hammers and they drop tape measures things of that nature. That paper is not going to do anything. So these first few photos, again, you're welcome to come up here and take a look. Um, I spent a, at least two days, two partial days, maybe three partial days, laying down indoor-outdoor carpet, soft side down, and then thin plywood over the top of it, and then I taped it all together. So the guys can go in there, they can drop ladders, they can drop whatever they want. Um, it, it's protected. Big pain in the neck, completely worth it. Completely worth it. Okay, so there's that. We ended up replacing all the floors anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. That, which is common, but they didn't know. Because what happens frequently is, is the computer doesn't work frequently. That's what happens. What happens frequently is after the project is built, the... Um, it's different. The layout's different. And, and with theirs especially, there's a photo in here showing the tiny opening between the two main rooms, the entry slash living area and the kitchen slash dining area. Um, there was a very, very, very small opening between those two rooms. And the rest of it was drywall. Urgh. Curse you, technology. Where's my hammer? Where's my hammer? <laughs> <laughs> would, would the hammer work? Be worthy of a hammer? Okay, there we go. More, more floor protection, more floor protection, more floor protection. Um, and then there's that little tiny opening. If you can't see it, I wish you could. Um, gigantic wall, super, super tall, really beautiful, high volume ceilings. And then to get from the living area, you walk through a doorway. You couldn't see the kitchen, you couldn't see the backyard, couldn't see any of that. Well, one of the things they wanted to do was eliminate that. Guess what? That was a bearing wall. Yeah. So, engineering. We had, to, we had to engineer that and handle that. Also, they had a one-story house. And what we did was add a master suite upstairs. So, now we had to find a place for the stairs. Uh, typically, can be a difficult thing to do. Um, and we were able to figure out a way to do it. They lost a, um, a closet in their existing master bedroom, lost that. We rebuilt it in a different location, lost another closet, um, the entry coat closet, lost that. And then finally the um, furnace. Furnace was in there as well, right? Oh, it was up in the attic. It was already in the attic. Oh, but the return air, the return <laughs> air was cruising through a wall, so we had to relocate the return air. And so ultimately we ended up removing a couple of walls and creating a stairway for that. All had to be engineered. Now you should have invited us over before and then invited us all over. Yeah, after. yeah that's true. <laughs> so in the process, 
Um, this is a great photo. If you guys have a chance, not now, later, come by. Uh, in the master bedroom, we had to uh, break up concrete. It's probably a 18 foot long section, two feet wide, and we had to dig a trench two feet deep in their master bedroom while they were living there. So there's a photo here with a huge trench, um, underground water lines, which we didn't know were there. Fortunately, we didn't damage them. We took good care of them. And then we put planks over it so that they could walk over these planks, walk across the trench uh, at night and, and when they were in there. Now, had they gone, had they taken my, my advice and gone to Europe for six months uh, while this was happening, I was, I was only too happy to book that vacation for them, but they and everybody else turned it down. Um, it would have been a lot easier. So they, they lived through a rough, a rough deal. It's not easy to go through this. Um, but they're campers, and that, believe it or not, I think that's a huge, huge benefit. So here's a photo where we, where we stripped the roofing and the roof sheathing where the addition was going to happen. It was happening at the back, and we removed all of that roof sheathing. That's the photo there. And then the rains came. And the rains came. So new construction, with new construction, they don't care about rain because they don't put anything inside the house that is going to get damaged by rain or that's valuable that can't handle rain until the roof is up. Room addition is totally different. Your stuff is still in there. As I mentioned, they didn't move out. All of their stuff, their bedding, their computers, their TV, everything they own is still in that house. So we have to protect that while the rain comes. So rain came, we protected it, and when I say we, I mean me. Um, Terry can recognize these tarps. These are, these are basically uh, fumigation tarps that I have custom made for my needs. Uh, they're 80 pounds. They're 30 by 40, they're 80 pounds. I gotta grab this thing and carry it up, uh, carry it up a ladder. It's a dream. It's a dream. Um, so there are some photos of that. And then here's the actual construction. You can see the floor system being built. You can see the walls being built at the back of the house. The, the roofing has been completely removed. Um, there's further construction. Uh, if you're up here close enough, you can see that they've got a vaulted ceiling. So we essentially have two roofs built. The main roof over the top of the house and then underneath that is um, the vaulted roof, vaulted ceiling inside their master suite. So when you walk in there, two minutes, awesome. So there's that. Um, then the rains came again. <laughs> So we had to recover it in a different form now because the, the construction had continued and it's a different form now. And more photos of covering the place, it's a big deal. And then finally, we're into the drywall stage, uh, one of the worst stages of the entire event. The dust gets everywhere. There's nothing you can do about it. We put up plastic as well as we can, uh, but it gets beyond the plastic. Um, it's brutal. But th now you can see this gigantic opening between the living and uh, entry area and the dining and kitchen area. Um, it's gorgeous. It's, it's wide, it's super tall, it's, it's more than the typical six foot eight. Um, it's probably nine feet, nine and a half feet tall. Super, super nice. Really opened it up. Uh, here's a, another photo of the wall where the stairs end up eventually, and there are the stairs there. And there's a photo of their awesome kitchen sink and countertop, their beautiful shower. And here's a photo of the man himself doing a little demo in the kitchen. So we actually did two phases. We finished the project and then came back and did the kitchen remodel. And uh, so there's a photo of a guy busting up some tile with glasses and goggles on, very safety conscious. And there's a photo of the kitchen in the same exact location, just removed and replaced. And that is that. No time for a question? How about complaints? Any complaints? Comments? If you, a typical two-story like that, the construction phase would be about four months. Um, they had that, plus we had to come back and do the kitchen remodel. So it was probably five and a half months, something like that. It was about eight months. Oh, it was eight months, oh, or eight months. <laughs> <laughs> really built five and a half? <laughs> it did, thank you.
Is there anybody else who will never ever forget that, or is Jim the only one? Yes, the only one. What a girl. Bunch of, bunch of white hairs. Hey, those, those were different times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, if I had just done that last week, I could have had it up on the big screen. I know. All right. We can bring a screen next time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so with that, who are our target tippies for the next week and beyond? Rumble!